Hi, welcome to Market Board Videos. Again, today we're going to talk about momentum, and, and today we're going to talk about increasing and decreasing momentum. And so the first question you might ask yourself is, why the heck would you ever want to increase momentum? I mean, if it, if it causes a truck to be difficult to stop, why would you want to increase that? We'll talk about that in just a minute, but first of all, how do you increase momentum? To increase momentum, you can apply the greatest force over the longest period of time greatest force over the longest period of time. That kind of makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. Why would you do that? Well, let's say that you're a baseball player and you go to hit the ball. It would be great if that force that you're applying from the bat to the ball could be applied to the ball over a longer period of time, and indeed it can. It's called follow through. And that's why when you're playing baseball, you don't stop right here. You continue that swing all the way through so that you have a longer period of time to exert that force on the ball. Another sport that you do that in is golf. When you're golfing, you do the same thing. When you go to swing that club, you go all the way through. It's called follow through. You know that if you're an athlete at all. It's called follow through. And the reason that you do that is because you want to give it that little bit extra time for that force to be imparted onto that object. And that's going to increase the momentum, which is exactly what you want. The mass of the baseball isn't going to change. If you increase the momentum, the only thing that can change is the velocity. And so by follow through you're actually giving it a chance of getting a little more velocity. Now I want to caution you and I want to let you know that the force is not exactly the same at every single instant and because this is conceptual physics we don't talk about instantaneous anything but I want you to know that the force there is instantaneous force and it's different at each point for our purposes though we're going to just do average force okay just so you know that. So if we talk about increasing momentum, we have to talk about decreasing momentum. And let me give you an example. You're in a car that's out of control, and you can either hit a brick wall or you can hit a haystack. And you don't want to get hurt, and you don't want to damage the car. Which are you going to choose? Well, I'm guessing you're going to choose the haystack, and that would be the right thing to choose. When you're going to decrease, when you, in both cases, you're going to decrease your momentum by the same amount. Your velocity is going to end up being zero, so your momentum is going to end up being zero. However, when you hit something, let's call it soft, when you hit something soft, that actually increases the length of time during which momentum is going to become zero. And if you, if you increase the time, your force actually becomes less. So you have more time to to kind of absorb, if you will, that force, and so it becomes less. So where do we see that in the world? Oh my gosh, we see that all over the place. We see that in airbags. I don't know if you've ever been in a car accident, I hope you haven't, but if you have, you know that before you even know you're in a car accident, that airbag has deployed, helped you, and deployed very quickly, before you can even think about it. And what it actually does is that airbag gives you those extra few milliseconds to absorb that, that, that change in momentum, which lowers the force. If it gives you five times as much time, that gives you five times less force. If it's a hundred times as much time, it's a hundred times less force. It can be a huge difference, so you'll see it in airbags. If you've ever caught a ball without a glove, do you catch it down here? No, you always want to move your hand as close to where the ball is going to be, because when that ball hits, you want to be able to move your hand with the ball. That's going to lower the force. It makes it hurt a little less. Jumping. If you jump off of something and you're going to land on solid ground, you want to um, land with your knees bent. If you land with your knees bent, there's less chance of getting injured. <coughs> <coughs> and finally, the last example is wrestling. Wrestlers, when they're thrown to the ground, they know they're going to hit the ground, they relax their muscles. That spreads that force out over very over more muscles, which makes it have more time. So the force is less, the impact is less, it hurts less. How about a boxer? Boxer is going to get punched into the face. Now I've heard lean into it and go with the flow. So what do you think? If the boxer is going to get punched in the face, should he lean into the punch or should he go with the punch, move away from the punch? What do you think he should do? Lean away? or lean into or go away. Remember what you want to do is increase the time. So if you increase the time, moving away from the punch will actually increase the time and lower the force and hopefully lower the injury. One last example. You are putting away your mom's good china, you've just done dishes, and you drop a plate. 
Is it better if you're standing on carpet or on tile, a tile floor? Of course, the carpet's better. You can ask anybody, they know. You wanna drop something, drop it on carpet, it's not gonna break. But if you ask them why, they may or may not know the answer. So dropping it on carpet does less damage, but the reason is, people will tell you, because a carpet has more give. Now, I don't know exactly what they mean by give, but I know that it means that it's gonna take longer for that plate to stop, it's gonna take longer for the, for the momentum to be zero, and so if it has more time, it's going to have less of an impact of the force. The force is gonna be less. So the reason why you'd rather drop it on a carpet is because the carpet, like an airbag, or like a boxer leaning away from a punch, gives it a little more time, and a little more time makes a huge difference when it comes to force.